and the money allocated for that uh, the money allocated for for the training was 16,000 16 million 332,000 pesos for the elementary uh, um, nationwide na siya ma'am no it's in, only in region 7 and then for the elementary we trained the target was 4,838 and the money allocated for region 7 for all grade 1 teachers is was 29 million 28,000 pesos but actually the total number of teachers trained instead of 4,838 the total number trained is 5,139 uh, this is the the details no ang Baiz City 63 Bayawan City 104 Bugu City uh, 53 then we have Bohol 997 Karkar 79 Cebu Province 1,430, uh, Cebu City 445, Danau 105, Dumaguete City 69, Giholgan City 103, Lapu Lapu City 231, Mandawi City 169, Naga City 81, Negros Oriental 693, Sikihor 92. Tagbilaran 53, Talisay City 150, Tanay City 81, Toledo City 141. So the total number of grade 1 pupils trained, uh, based sa uh, instruction sa Manila, it's only 4,838, but it, it reached to 5,139. In fact, the money... The, there was a little amount and a little extra. We downloaded that for the different regions so that all those who were not trained were really be trained. So, with regard to the preparation on, and on the question how competent of the teachers, are they really competent mm -hmm. in handling grades 1 and 7 based on the K-12 program? Well, the only thing that we can see in DepEd, we really tried our best. We call all people. So after the regional training, we conducted a divisional training. And the, the school administrators will also train down those who were left untrained. Mm -hmm. Because precisely, we have called up all of them to capacitate, to retool them or re-engineer them in that particular area. That's why even until now, we, ne we never stop. Mm -hmm. And then with regard to the reproduction of of the materials, kani ang gikwana mo. We went beyond. We really went beyond because whatever money nga ni excess for the K to twelve, we use we what is this? We utilized it maximally mm -hmm. so that all will be able to have an access for the K to twelve program. Um, just for the record, ma'am, you're speaking on behalf of uh, teachers of Central Visayas alone. Yes, Region Seven. Mm -hmm. Region 7. I'm talking about Region 7. And for the reproduction of the the materials, for the K-12 materials, it is about, it is 32,672,978 pesos and 55 centavos. And these are the allocation. Muna, we are monitoring this. Kung gi reproduce ba this? Bohol. Bohol is 5 million for grade 1, 296,968. And grade 7 is 85,132. Mm -hmm. And Manila sent this sorrow to us. So actually, the total amount spent for the reproduction of these materials is 32,672,000. 978 pesos and 55 centavos. So on our region 7, we try to check whether the money downloaded to them are really used for the reproduction of these materials because the, the lesson guide, the lesson guide and the teacher's guide ma to reproduce nato. So that the design of the K-12 program which is 
uh, spiral progression approach, magamit gito siya kay gi arrange na siya in a way that the children, uh, the teachers don't have a problem anymore on how to conduct it, mm -hmm. how to make the design because the design is already made for them. So what they are going to do is to follow. However, in our teacher's guide, depending mang good na sa situation sa where the school is located, that, that's why it's really a lesson plan, but, but we call it a guide because the teacher can modify, can substitute, or can use another way to fit what is really needed in that particular mm -hmm. school. But there is a guide because the competency is non-negotiable. Mm -hmm. No, diba? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. The competencies which the central office is listing down is non-negotiable. They have to teach it whether they like it or not. However, the materials to be used will vary depending on the needs of the children on the needs of that particular school because it is contextualized or localized to address the problem existing in that particular school. Mm -hmm. uh, um, according to your data, ma um, we spent millions of training sa, to capacitate our teachers. Um, so atong murag, how, how do we check na ang katong, katong kininga similar workshop or learning sessions um, was really good ba? Nga, nakaingunta nga, the teachers really were capacitated. Okay. The, the, our regional director instructed us to monitor every now and then. That's why when we you come to this office, it's sometimes vacant because we are assigning people. Uh, we are divided into uh, five RIFTA, Regional Field Technical Assistants. We divide the UNUM. RIFTA 1, RIFTA 2, RIFTA 3. Ako, RIFTA 3 ko, I am assigned in Toledo, Talisay, Karkar City Division. Mm -hmm four divisions so i have my people under me coming from the different offices so that if there is a problem about the money downloaded we have somebody a special person who will take care about the money if the problem is about the curriculum it must be coming from us so we have somebody who will take care about that question if it is about special programs and projects if it is about building facilities, if talks, if the school is anemic about mga the building, the toilet, and everything that it, what the child really needs most, that's why the RF that will go there weekly. We go there. Before it was monthly, but now because we are monitoring whether the money downloaded, whether the facilities and the equipment stipulated, whether the textbooks delivered will really mm -hmm. used by the children, we keep on monitoring that. And aside from that, kami, CLMD, me, we have so many projects and K-12 is one. So we keep on monitoring weekly to find out whether the money downloaded is really utilized to the maximum and whether the teachers fully understood what they are doing. Mm -hmm. So, kaya di mang yuta ka 100% sure nga the exact information given during the training in the regional level will really be disseminated exactly the way we want it to happen. Mm -hmm. you know, so, we keep in monitoring that. Uh, Ma'am, um, the world mamba is, uh, is a very competitive na mamba and the professional world demands knowledgeable and skilled um, individuals could we say that our public school teachers um, are competent enough to make our public school students to fit those demands? Okay. Please remember, we are yet in grades 1 and 7. Mm -hmm. You know, sa K-12 program, good, because that is under BESRA, Basic Education Sector Reform mm -hmm. Agenda. Mm -hmm. it, is a poly, uh, it is a package mm -hmm. of reform. KRT-1, which is school-based management, KRT2 with schools for national learning strategies that in CBTS, na standard good ang pagtudlo. That's why every middle of the semester, we have the semestral break. That is intended for KRT2, meaning to say nga, ma-address good na nato nga, whatever the principal observed that there, these are the deficiencies sa ilang mga maestra, like for example, the art of questioning, maybe in making the test, or maybe in the delivery of a particular subject, uh, that calls for a professional development. That's why every October, last week of October, we conduct our semestral break, and that is the very time wherein the problems encountered by the principals 
from June to October or from June to September na iya ba nang na take note and that is be that will be the basis for conducting an inset training to address key mm -hmm. RT2 mm -hmm. no Com national competency based unya ang key RT3 na to we talks which talks about uh, uh, about proper utilization of mat uh, materials resources when we say resources, it can be human resources, that is staffing. It can be material resources. That's why it can be money. So that's why we monitor that. That is key RT3. Mm -hmm. uh, whether all these things, all these resources are properly used or utilized. And then we have the key RT4, uh, which calls for the networking with community people. So we try to check whether the relationship of the community people and other non-government operating can, uh, shall we say organization is also participating in that school because we could not fly alone mm. we need a partnership from people around the community that's why ang TRT1 na to, which is school based management it's very clear that one of the comp uh, one of the compositions there is the networking with the LGUs and other non-government organizations existing in the community. And then number five, the key RT1 under BESRA, key reform trust, that is, uh, we call it institutional change. Mm -hmm. Meaning, it's not only the school that is changing, but the teachers, the principals are changing, basing on the key RT1, 2, 3, 4. Mm -hmm. So, kuna change sila, so, we can dream that maybe kay ni apamanta sa stage one, mm -hmm. grades one and grade seven, we have capacitated them. We'll try to check towards the end na accomplish budget ni. But on our end, our regional director is very serious about the change. That's why we keep on monitoring them and we never sleep in the office. We keep on going out to find kung natuman bagyo. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, I'm speaking in behalf of Central Visayas, Ma'am Ba. Yes. Um, compared to other regions, how how skilled or competent is our teachers, Ma'am, our teachers here in Central Visayas? Do you have any rate or rank? As of the moment, because all of us went mm -hmm. to Manila. Mm -hmm. Reg all regions, 17 regions mm -hmm. went to Manila. Mm -hmm. And sa atong end, we were 98 mm -hmm. ang gitrain yun dito. Mm -hmm. And then, I haven't observed yet. Ang amo lang feedback because this coming kuan, there was feedback nga which is not common to us. Mm -hmm. Peculiar mangood ang different mm -hmm. regions. Some are uh, have a very negative reaction. Mm -hmm. Some try to retaliate. Di mangita ka kuan na nakailala in man kuan like for arm. Lisud man sila nya sa region six, region seven. La in la in biya tao set up sa atong culture. Although we go there as one representing the whole Philippines, but in terms of peculiarity, that thing cannot really be addressed because we come from different places. But how competent during our exercise there, Region 7 participated very well. We really participated very well. In fact, I, I, I raised that question, nga, why are you using the term compose and decompose? when in fact it is only for addition and subtraction why not say it's subtraction and addition mm -hmm. because i'm going out in the service i'm retiring by january mm -hmm. because i'll be 65 by january mm -hmm. and if nobody can explain very well about composition and decomposition possibly the teacher will skip that competence mm -hmm. and that is not the key to well because the the outcome of K-12 is very clear. Number one is communicative competence. Mm. That is the outcome of K-12. That's why when we talk about communicative competence, we start with the mother tongue because that is the very foundation for the cognitive and reasoning skills. And so, kutobra ang mother tongue na to sa grade 3. From grades 4 going up, English is now the focus, so mother tongue will only act as a scaffold. But we cannot skip that one because we are the only country who is not proud of our mother tongue. I came, I just just finished mm -hmm. visiting. Uh, I visited Korea. Mm -hmm. Ang mother tongue nila gikan sa kinder up to college.